Hey folks, welcome back to the Trinity Episcopal Church YouTube Bible Study. I'm the Reverend Jimmy Abbott, the priest here at Trinity, and I'm so glad you have joined me for this Bible study. Today we're looking at a portion of Luke chapter 23, the story of the, the crucifixion, Luke's account of Jesus on the cross, and I want to read just a little bit of it to you. When they came to the place that is called the Skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. This is such an amazing, astounding thing that Jesus, even as he is being tortured and crucified and mocked and scoffed at, he can say, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. This is truly the pinnacle of forgiveness, and I pray that I fall under that, that great umbrella of forgiveness and grace as well. There's one story that, that I would like to share with you that, that highlights this theme of forgiveness. You know, in World War II, Coventry Cathedral in the Church of England was bombed by the Germans during the war and it burned. The whole thing just crumbled in upon itself. And the dean, the priest of the cathedral, went there after the whole thing had been bombed out and burned, and he asked that two words would be engraved along the stones remaining behind the altar. The two words were, Father, forgive. Now, of course, some people said to him, well, shouldn't it say, Father, forgive them, or Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing? And he said, no. Father, forgive, because we are all guilty. We have all fallen under the power of sin and violence and death and warfare, and we need the Father to forgive all of us. This is the power of the cross, that you and I are in this story, and that when Jesus says, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing, Jesus, I think, is praying for us and talking about us. I would like to think that I'm a rational person, that I'm uh, smart enough and I have a, a good intellect and I have a grasp of my actions, but, but truly I read this and I see, no, I do not know what I'm doing. And I'm so grateful. I fall to my knees in prayer and gratitude that Jesus on the cross is begging the Father to forgive. As you gather maybe with your families over Thanksgiving. I know that some of those past records of misdeeds and wrongdoings and sins might come up. Take this as an opportunity to forgive. Maybe to remind yourself that they do not know what they are doing. This could be an opportunity for you, like Jesus, to stretch wide your arms upon the cross and forgive. Thank you all so much for joining me. would love to hear any comments you have. And please, by all means, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can watch more YouTube videos, Bible studies, and worship services right here. Thank you.